sa lahat ng mga cellphone na inaabangan ko this year, ito ang pinaka inaabangan ko. Guys, I am super excited to show you probably one of the best cameras you will ever see on a smartphone. Apart from games, isa akong camera guy. May ligaw sa cameras, no? Just like our camera today, napakaganda, napaka-sharp ng kanyang itsura. Well, pasok! Vivo X60, co-engineered with Zeiss. Guys, hindi nyo alam kung gano'ng big time itong partnership na to. Si Zeiss ay isang big time German mirrorless and optics maker. Gumagawa siya ng mga cameras, lenses, very high quality at very expensive yung mga gamit nila. And to see it here sa Vivo X60, oh my god! Actually, natalik ko na yung phone. Eto! Ang isang sample picture niya. Never pa ako nakita ng ganyang kagandang portrait picture like nothing comes close. It looks like it was taken on a full frame DSLR or mirrorless camera. Ano na nagsasabi sa inyo? This will blow your mind. So maganda na kayo. Hindi lang yan, mabilis pa yung kanyang processor. Snapdragon 870 processor. Meron siyang 700 points sa Antutu benchmark. Just like the Vivo X50 Pro last year, si Vivo X60 ay isang flagship grade phone. Na hindi flagship yung kanyang presyo. Para sa specs na binibigay niya. Oh my God, napakasulit. Actually, medyo mahaba yung intro natin. Sobrang excited na talaga ako to bring to you the Zeiss partnership with the Vivo X60. Kaya samahan nyo ako. Unbox na tayo. Abra lang si Bins and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Okay, so ito na. A big box. Meaning, pang flagship na. Seryoso na si Vivo dito sa kanyang X60. Check out the box. Look at that guys. Yung kanyang drawing dyan. Mukha siyang lens, no? Ayan, yung pabilog na yan. Wow. Box pala. Premium na premium na. Check natin na. Ito ka pala ay 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. And yung color natin ngayon ay shimmer blue. Ayan na siya. Alright. Whoop. Ito na yung phone. Mamaya ka na. Check this out. X60 Vivo. Nice cardboard. Oh. Grabe naman ang presentation. The packaging is just stellar. Unang-una, no? Andito yung kanyang papers, SIM ejector pin, important information guide, quick start guide, at yung kanyang hard case. Nice! Hindi siya jelly case. At tinan nyo na to. Meron pa siyang sulat dito. X60 Series Professional Photography Vivo. Zeiss Co-Engineered. Box pa lang. Panalo na. Ito na yung kable. USB Type-C. Very familiar. Same as the Vivo X50 Pro. Charger. 33 watts. Same as last year. At, ano to? Isang dedicated earphone packaging. So, andito yung earphones. High quality earphones to. At syempre ito, a dongle. Para sa headphone jack. And that's pretty much it. Ito na siya. Whoop! Okay, so here it is. Oh my god. So, uh, the back is very familiar from last year's Vivo X60 Pro. Check it out. Shining. Shimmering splendid. Napakaganda ng design. Flagship to flagship. Oh, by the way, uh, the design is very familiar, no? It's uh, very similar from the Vivo X50 Pro last year. Check nyo yung camera. As you can see, yung kanyang lens ay pretty much the same, no? Pero panlabas lang yan, guys. You will not believe what's in here. And as you can see, ito yung major difference niya, yung major upgrade, yung Zeiss na logo. Malupitan na to. Tinan nyo to, Zeiss Vario Tessar. So, Last year guys, si Vivo X50 Pro parang pinush niya talaga yung boundaries of image and video quality. Naalala niyo yun, yung gimbal camera ni Vivo X50 Pro? Well, they have taken it to another level with a Zeiss equipped camera. Ito yung trademark niya, malaking malaking lens. Ayan, may dalawa pa siyang lens na maliit sa ilalim. That is the ultra wide lens and yung isa yung telephoto lens. Tindi no, inuuna ko na yung camera. O mayan yan, i-check mo na natin yung kanyang design. Well, of course, it's very familiar. Una-una, it's very very sexy, very sleek. Ito nga pala ay matte finish, no? Smooth to the touch, very slippery. That's why you need the hard case. Itong itsura niya with the hard case. Maganda pa rin tingnan. Actually, Kinda compliment niya yung tura. Wow. But yeah, this is the shimmer blue. Kapag tinatamaan ng ilaw, nagsishimmer siya, no? Parang meron siyang part na pinkish kapag uh, iba yung angulo. Okay to, pwede sa girls, pwede sa boys. Oh, by the way, meron pa siyang black color. So if you're not digging this kind of design, meron pa siyang black. The back is pretty simple, no? Just the camera and the logo. So right side naman ng phone is yung power button and the volume rocker. So left side, bola. Sa taas is a microphone. And may nakasulat dito, professional photography. Sa ilalim naman is yung kanyang loudspeaker, USB type support, isa pang microphone, and yung kanyang SIM tray. Eto, dual SIM naman siya, no? Wala lang siyang micro SD card slot for expandable storage. Oh, by the way, 5G na pala itong phone na to. And yes, alam niyo ba guys, na pwedeng sabay 5G sila. Sa ibang phones, isa lang pwedeng SIM na 5G. That's right. Pero ito pwedeng dual 5G. Sabayan. Now what Vivo and Zeiss has done here is a camera phone that is both light, thin, beautiful, which you can take anywhere you want, anytime, anywhere. Pwede ka magpicture-picture. And alam mo lagi na maganda ang inyong picture. Dati kasi to get the best looking pictures, you need to buy a big chunky DSLR. Pero ngayon guys, no. Dahil sa advancement ng technology, naging posible ang ganitong klaseng camera 
sa isang phone na. Ayan guys, oh. Ganyan yung tsura nyo. Oh, kala may shutter button dito, no? Ayun lang. Sana lang naglagay sila ng shutter button dito para malupitan talaga. Since ito yung main feature ng itong phone na to, let's get straight to the camera. Unang-una, specs pa na. Meron siyang 48MP with Zeiss Powered Technology. Meron pa siyang 13MP telephoto lens and 13MP ultrawide angle lens. Let me just show you picture quality of the cameras. As you can see, guys, the picture is just grabe. Ang tindi. If you look closely, the picture quality is just on a different level now. Hindi na siya sharp. Hindi lang maraming details. Pero yung color. I think the color is the, the best part of this camera. Alam nyo ba guys? Color is something super important sa isang image quality. And I think, ito yung main na binibigay ng itong camera na to. The professional looking colors. Napakaganda ng skin tone dito. Very, very accurate. Parang it's the real thing. This is something not many phone makers are able to do. Kasi nga, nakapatin yung color. So, I think this is the main takeaway kung bakit siya nagpartner kay Zeiss. And also, the image processing ay andyan. Let me just show you a comparison between an iPhone 12 Pro Max picture and the Vivo X60. Sipin nyo to ha, iPhone 12 Pro Max is 80,000 pesos already. This is like, sobrang mahal na. Pero, in comparison, mga kaibigan, si Vivo X60 ay wala pa sa kalahati ng presyo ni iPhone 12 Pro Max and kitang kita nyo na labang na labang si Vivo X60 dito. Sa kulay pa lang, sa itsura pa lang, panalong panalo na. Now, ang pinakamalaking contribution ni Zeiss dito ay yung kanyang bokeh algorithms. Check out this portrait photo. Tignan nyo naman yung separation ng foreground ako at yung background. The background blur is very accurate, no? Usually kasi nag-merge, no? Kapag ka hindi maganda yung kanilang bokeh algorithm. Pero to guys, the separation is very distinct. Talagang kitang-kita mo. At saka very accurate siya. Hindi siya nag-blur sa mga gilid-gilid ng mga t-shirt ko. No! It looks really accurate. And by the way, pwede mo pang i-edit ang kanyang bokeh right after you shoot it in the editor. Wow! Kung nga nakukulang ka sa background blur, ibaba mo lang yung number ng aperture. Right here, F-stop. And if you wanna see more of the background, taasan mo lang ang aperture and voila. Magic. Hindi kaya ng DSLR yan. Tapos guys, check out this dynamic range. Ito yung wala at ito na may meron. Ang dynamic range guys, kapag ka sabog, yung lighting no, sa background, ibabalance out niya yan. And as you can see, dito sa mayroong HDR photo, you can now see the clouds. Dito sa wala ay purely sabog lang. White lang siya lahat. And check out the details no, sa background. Mas halata na siya. Yan ang dynamic range. No? Isa pang major upgrade dito sa kanyang extreme. Night Vision 2.0 Ito yung sample niyan Tira niyo mabuti ah Sobrang dilim ng lugar Gamitan natin ng Night Mode And boom Medyo maghihintay ka ng konti no Just like any Night Mode Pero the difference is Magkakaroon ka na ng isang Night Mode Na hindi super saturated Super contrasty Talagang It will just reveal The room or the, the place. And guys, meron din pala siyang sports mode. Ano sports mode? Ang sports mode ay anything na mabilis gumalaw. Pwede mong picturean. Kapag wala kang sports mode or mabagal yun yung shutter, abay, magiging malabo yung picture kapag ka hindi still yung subject. Pero to guys, since meron siyang built-in optical image stabilization, ayun, no, tatakbo ako. And, pak, 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 pak. Ayun, so, napakagaling. Klarong klaro pa rin, per frame. Maganda dito pang shoot ng mga wildlife, mga birds, dogs, cats, di ba? Mahirik ka mag-picture ng cat at nainis kayo na medyo lagi silang gumalaw. Ang gumalaw, ming ming, ni picture lang kita eh. Well, hindi mo na kailangan sabihan sila kasi nga, ang camera nyo na mismo ang mag adjust para sa kanila. Ah. By the way, um, meron siyang telephoto lens, no? 13 megapixels. But, uh, ang kanyang zoom ay nagma-max out sa 20 times. Okay naman yung kanyang stabilization kahit naka-zoomed in. Meron din siyang ultra-wide angle lens. Yes! Actually, mukhang yung Zeiss Optics, no? Yung kanilang algorithm is effective sa lahat ng lens. Hindi lang sa main camera. Napansin ko kasi yung color and, uh, contrast and saturation is pretty much the same as the main sensor. But guys, this is probably the best thing about the Vivo X60. The video stabilization. Unang-una, meron siyang dalawang stabilization. Meron siya yung standard stabilization and meron siyang ultra stable. Sa standard stabilization, very stable naman siya. No? Parang uh, akala mo talaga nakagimbal. It makes you wonder but kailangan pa ng ultra stable. No? Kasi nga, kapag nag-ultra stable ka, well, of course, less jitters. Siguro kapag uh, tumatakbo ka na nito, kailangan mo talaga mag-ultra stable. Kaya lang ang problema kasi sa ultra stable, mas mag-zoom in ng konti guys. Magka-crop in siya. Pero kapag naglalakad ka lang, maingat ka mag-video-video. Nako, all you need is the standard stabilization. And I was actually surprised sa kanyang settings. Meron pa siyang 4K at 60 frames per second na option dito. Grabe. 
matindi. Flagship na flagship na yung level. Probably the best thing about sa kanyang stabilization is that actually, um, ito talaga hindi ko, itong part na to, no, sa Vivo X60. Alam niyo ba last year, Vivo X50 Pro, lagi kong ginagamit for vlog yan. Sa sobrang gusto ko ng Vivo X50 Pro, I recommended it to my uh, vlogger friend, Motopet. Ayun guys, so currently, yun ang main camera ni Motopet. Ang dami niya nagawang mga montage dito. Kapag nagpa-vlog siya, yun madalas ang gamit niya, yung Vivo X50. 50 Pro. All-in-one vlogging solution kasi siya. Una-una kasi, smartphone siya. Lagi niyang dala. Anytime, pwede niyang ilabas at mag-start mag-vlog. Pangalawa, stable, reliable, and high-quality looking video. So, hindi na niya kailangan magbuubo ng rig, mag-gimbal-gimbal pa, or bumili ng mga malalaking lens. No. All he needed was the Vivo X50 Pro. Actually, check ko yan sa full review natin. Magkakaroon pati ng maraming review dito. Full review ng camera and full review ng phone. Pero ito, ang kanyang selfie camera. 32 megapixels pala ang kanyang main camera. And wow, I'm so pogi na naman. Grabe, napaka ganda ng itsura ko dito ah. Okay, so very sharp, no? Very smooth ang aking mukha dito. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-make up. If I need it for vlogging, pwedeng bagong gising lang ako actually, bagong gising lang ako ngayon. Pero dito sa camera, I can see na sobrang smooth ko. Bagong ligo. Fresh na fresh. O ba? Mag-vlog ka na. Bili ka na lang ng Vivo X60. Actually, we'll check out the camera in a future review. mag in depth tayo dyan. Pero, I guess, excited na kayo. Makita ang mga games dito. Okay, so actually, no, akala ko camera phone lang siya, pero I was wrong. It's not only an excellent camera phone, but it's also an excellent gaming phone. All around pala, hindi ko pa pwedeng ipakita yung Antutu benchmark score. Sabihin ko lang ha, mas mataas pa siya sa 600,000 points sa Antutu. We'll see that in the full review. Pero ayun, anything na light browsing, pag-navigate sa homepage, ay napakabilis. Walang problema. Sobrang bilis niya, sobrang smooth. Sa games na talaga magkakatalo. And right here is the Mobile Legends Experience. Okay, so napansin ko lang no, na ang ganda-ganda ng graphics. Oh, by the way, yung kanyang graphics ay enhanced, no? All because of that wonderful, beautiful AMOLED display. Syempre naman, di mo mawawala yan. Ito ay 1080p na. 120Hz refresh rate na. So, pwedeng pwede na ito sa 120fps ni League of Legends. And yeah, the, the display is just amazing. All thanks to its very sharp, very bright, beautiful AMOLED display. So yes, future-proof na siya, 120Hz. But then sa Mobile Legends, 60Hz pa lang siya or 60 frames per second kasi wala pa siyang support for 120Hz. But I'm sure, pretty soon, kapag naglabas si League of Legends, kagaya yan, promise. Now in terms of performance, this is like the max performance you will get on Mobile Legends. Kaya lang, no? wala pa siyang ultra graphics, naka high graphics pa lang siya ngayon, pero meron na siyang HFR mode and uh, shadow. And as you can see, no, it is 60 frames per second all throughout. Wala naman akong naramdaman na frame drops dito. And I can assure you, the graphics is really nice. no. In terms of yung gaming experience, medyo manipis pala yung phone. Maninibago ka ng konti kasi sobrang sexy niya. But yeah, performance wise sa Mobile Legends, sisiw lang to sa Snapdragon 870 processor ni Vivo X60. Oh, by the way, si Vivo X60 pala, pati si Vivo X60 Pro, same lang yung processor nila, 870. Pero yes, consider this a flagship level performance na. At ayun na nga, Call of Duty. Ito talaga, ang ganda ng graphics, no? Maraming salamat sa napakabilis na processor plus napakagandang display. Hindi ko lang pwede ipakita mo na ang kanyang settings dito, pero it is quite impressive. Feeling ko umabot siya ng 90 frames per second. Although wala siya yung, ano no, yung parang MP Ultra settings sa uh, frame rates, no? Wala siyang ganun mo na. Pero yes, I will reveal the settings in the near future. Pero in terms of graphics, nakikita ko dito. Ito yung nakikita ko sa mga ibang flagship phones. Ganitong level of graphics, napakaganda na napaka last na dating hindi hindi nagfa-frame drop dito si Call of Duty is smooth na is smooth kaya kung mahilig ka maglaro ng Call of Duty and Mobile Legends I'm pretty sure you will enjoy playing with this phone and I think mag-enjoy ka sa kahit anong games dito simply because napakabilis at napaka powerful <laughs> nitong processor I was like ha huh? hindi Snapdragon 888 pwede ba yun well last year naman hindi naman flagship processor si Vivo X50 Pro kaya lang ang difference ng Snapdragon 765 to a Snapdragon 870 is napakalaki kung last year pang midrange lang yung kanyang performance this year flagship level already so sobrang highly appreciated ng paglagay ng isang mabilis na processor dito sa phone to half the price of an actual flagship phone like a Samsung flagship or a iPhone eto naman sa Genshin Impact and as you can see high set Naku, napaka smooth ito guys. Although, sa una, may mapafeel ka mga frame drops. Sa una lang, baka sa kailangan mag-render. Pero once it gets going, naku, napaka smooth na lang. Kahit sa boss pa yan, napaka smooth guys ng graphics. Oh my god. I was not expecting this. Akala ko, papasok sa review na to, yung camera lang yung maganda sa kanya. Pero no, I was I was wrong. The performance is like very, very surprising. Medyo na-overwhelm ako sa nare-review ko ngayon. Simply, top of the line. Medyo na-impressed pa kayo kay Vivo X60? Of course, I cannot say the price yet kasi si... Vivo dapat magsabi nun. Ito ay quick preview. 
first impression or unboxing video lang ng uh, Vivo X60. Wait till you see the full review of this phone. No? Sama na natin yung battery charge, kung gano'n siya kakunat. O by the way, yung kanyang battery pala ay 4,300 mAh. Actually, konti pa lang atin na-cover dito. Ganun kalupit. Si Vivo X60, marami pa pala siyang features na hindi ko pa pinapakita sa inyo. It's uh, truly a magnificent phone. And baka lang magkaroon tayo ng comparison between an iPhone 12 Pro Max and a Vivo X60 in the near future. Kaya kung manda na kayo, mag-subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss our full review and our full camera review, comparison, and things like that. Dito lang yan sa Unbox Diaries. Abalas Beans, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Ooh.